okay guys let's move to um multiplication of fractions and addition of fractions so what happens with the fraction is you have 18 b squared divided over 4a divided by 3b over 4a uh, times 8 over 9 so the first thing to do you need to convert this division into multiplication and in doing so you look at the fraction that is coming after the division sign which is 3b over 4a so this fraction you need to swap the the denominator and the numerator okay as this you will be like um 18b squared divided by 4a times so times it means we're converting this fraction into multiplication so it's no longer division now so and in doing so we swap the two so it means it will be times 4a over 3b and then times 8 over 9 this is how we do everything and then there is something that you should know about multiplication multiplication of fraction it allows you to just multiply straightforward numerators multiply by numerator multiply by numerator so you're gonna come and say it's 18 b squared multiply by 4a multiply by 8 this times this times this and then you multiply the denominators this times this times this so is gonna be 4a times 3b times 9 and then 18 times 4 let's start with the numbers you will be like 18 multiplied with 4 multiplied with 8 how much are we gonna get 18 multiplied with 4 multiplied with 8 we're gonna get 576 so we're gonna get 576 five seven six and then on the denominator you will be like four times three is twelve twelve times nine is one or eight so it's gonna be one or eight okay now the thing again is when you multiply uh the terms like a and b are different terms so when you multiply them you just combine them because they're not like terms so here you're gonna say it's gonna be a b squared and then here it's gonna be uh, a times b so it's gonna be a b so now take your cash your <coughs> this calculator and just write 576 divided by 108 the calculator will reduce for you 576 divided by 108 divided by 108 so how much are we going to get here this goes to So it's gonna be 16 over 3 so we're gonna get um 16 over 3 a b squared a b and then we now divide so the thing is when we divide a and a can cancel and then b can cancel on b squared and you remain with only one b so your answer will be 16 over 3 a and b have been cancelled but here we're remaining with b so it's going to be 16 b over 3 that will be your answer so this question is from may uh may june 2018 so let's have a look at this one this one is uh november 2017 november 2017 Okay, and this one is June 
So, as we know, first thing first, we start by converting this fraction to multiplication. And how do we intend to do that? So, the first fraction will remain the same. And then when we convert to multiplication, we we'll swap the two. So it's going to be a squared will now be a numerator over 2b multiplied by 2b squared over a squared. So now, like I said, the good thing about the multiplication of fractions, it allows you to multiply straightforward, meaning to say you can multiply numerator, numerator, numerator like a squared times a squared times 2b squared denominator times denominator times denominator like 4b times 2b times a squared that's the good thing about multiplication so now there is a rule of multiplying like terms when you multiply like terms you add their exponents when you divide like terms you subtract their exponents exponents are these powers so here we have invisible number one here we also have invisible number one just like here so let's start with the numbers so i'm gonna say one times one times two i'm gonna get two and then i'll be like a squared times a squared i'm gonna get a to the power of four because when you multiply a and a you only add their exponents so if you say 2 plus 2, you get a4. And then b, it doesn't have a like term. So b square will remain the same. So 4 times 2 times 1, we're going to get 8. And then b times b. Remember this b has exponent 1. It also has exponent 1. So b and b, they are like terms. So you just add their exponents. So it's going to be 1 plus 1. So it's going to be b square. And then a square that's how we do them and then let's reduce 2 into 2 is 1 2 into 8 is 4 and then b square and b square cancel each other a2 will be subtracted from 4 remember when you divide you subtract exponent so your answer will be 4 and here will be a squared so it will be a squared over 4 so here you're remaining with a squared here you're remaining with 4 so this will be your answer okay let's move to addition of fractions we have numerators and we have denominators so the denominators are not similar as we can see so we must start by finding what we call l c d which is what we call lowest common denominator so how do we intend to find the l c d we do that by multiplying these two denominators okay so you're gonna have to multiply b times 2c so b times 2c you're gonna get l c d of 2b c so i'll draw a long division line and say b times 2c i will get 2bc so this is our lcd so our lcd 2bc will multiply b and will divide okay 2bc will divide b and multiply 6a so i'll open the bracket here and say 2bc will divide b and multiply 6a close bracket it says plus so I'll say plus, I'll open another bracket. LCD 2BC will come and divide 2C. So we divide 2C. And at the same time, it will multiply numerator B. Multiply numerator B, we close the bracket. So now, uh, 2BC divided by B. So it means B and B will cancel each other. B and B cancel each other. So we're going to remain with 2C times 6A is going to be 12AC uh, plus all over 2BC. 
and then let's divide here 2 divided by 2 C divided by C cancel so remaining with B times B so we're gonna get B squared so this will definitely be our answer okay let's move to the last one we have 2a plus 3b so now what's happening here is that the denominators are not the same but we're not gonna multiply these denominators because a can go into a b so what are we going to do we will definitely use a b as our lcd because a can go into a b so we will definitely use a b as our lcd so now a b is gonna divide a and multiply numerator 2 so you will be like a b divide a and multiply the numerator 2 close bracket plus the same a b will divide a b of another fraction and multiply 3 so it will be like um, a b divide by a b multiply by 3 you close the bracket so that's how it operates and then you proceed a divided by a they cancel a and a cancel you remain with b times 2 you're gonna get 2b over a b doesn't change plus a b divided by a b they cancel so when a b and a b cancel you remain with 3 so this will be your answer so that's how you do the fraction okay november 2017 and june 2018 it's unfortunate that i didn't write the question number but just go to those question paper you will find the questions okay thank you